Hey, what's up? I'm gonna try and symlink the dot files I've been making in from the git repo into where the dot files actually need to go. This might be tricky though because I'm not sure whether the symlinks are a thing in Windows. I know there's shortcuts and maybe we can use that, but I don't know yet. So we're gonna we're gonna make that work now. First, we need to know, yeah, how we're gonna do the actual linking to Google. How to symlink files in Windows? MKLink. So it looks like I can symlink in Windows 10 now. Well, that, that just made this video really simple. Okay, let's try it. First of all, I want to link my, uh, the dot files I've been making back into the repo. Okay, so look down there. You'll see that um, the present working directory is actually in the dot file, the, re the um, dot file repo right now. So if we edit .vimrc, that'll create a new vimrc in here. Now, I want to take what I've got for the dot files currently and just put them into this file so that I've got them in the repo. One way that's really useful that I could do that is if I do colon read and then I provide it with the file that I want to read from and in this case that's the dot files and I can use dollar my vimrc which is the variable the for the path of my dot files that's going to read everything in that file into this file and so now I've got my dot files here in my git repo so I'm going to save that using my uh, my leader key someone's getting home hey how's it going oh you're in here I shouldn't be too long I've kind of already solved the problem that I need to solve but um yeah I'm just finishing recording right now okay so now uh, I can use my convenience binding for saving I can use leader fs just space fs because I've remapped my leader key so now I have my dot files in the repo now I want to use that uh, the thing the M mk link here to make the symbolic link link and target Okay, so this is so the file and then where I actually want to do it to. So it's control tab to flip between tabs in Windows Terminal, I just learned, it's pretty cool. So if I uh, echo my vimrc so I can see what it is, it's user Zach vimrc. So I'm gonna get rid of that right now. And then I'm going to make a new uh, MK link access denied. So now I'm running as admin. And now I'll try the same thing again. So uh, MK link, you can't see this because it's not big enough. MK link, lol swag files 9000 dot vimrc goes to, uh, well, actually just here, right? Vimrc, because I'm already in. C user Zach. Invalid switch. Oh, uh, cannot create a file that already exists. Have I got these backwards? The uh, the the target and the so the target of the symlink must be the thing that the symlink points to. So I've been trying, so with that last command, what I tried to do was point 
was change the vimrc in the git repo to point to the file that i deleted earlier and now it's been created fantastic so that is that's all set up now the other file that i had created was my windows terminal the settings json so i kind of want to do the same thing for that so what I might do is go ahead and make one of those. I want to read from this path, uh, settings JSON. Okay, so there's my settings JSON all in there. Invalid switch. What have I done wrong here? Did I not save it? Ah, I didn't save it, okay. Uh, present working directory. Ah, uh, right, okay, I'm in the wrong place. So this needs to be written to D projects, no, projects, well, swag, not files 9000, windows, settings uh terminal settings json and now that should be saved there mk link oh because i've got the wrong the wrong slash i'm still using slashes from linux so this reset me out of uh presenter mode which is a good thing because it means that it's actually worked and my presenter mode still works Okay. Well, now I can sim link into a repo, which means that you should be able to go onto the repo and see all the changes that I make in these videos. Uh, I mean, if that is, you know, if you care about that. <laughs>